So when you buy your first EV, the very first complication you're going to come across is charging. Now, this is brushed over by the manufacturers on when you buy a new car and they'll all tell you, oh, it's a joyful world and it'll be really simple. And it is relatively simple, but unlike a combustion engine car where you choose between petrol and diesel, on an electric car, you're going to have different ways of charging. There is pretty much a standard now, and that is this here. This is a type two uh, fast charge, or it could be slow or fast charge, depends on what you're connected to. So this is AC, um, normally starting from about three, three kilowatts all the way up to, you know, 22 kilowatts. And that's your, your normal thing. You're likely to find the other end of this in a public charger or on a wall charger. And that's how you're gonna charge the majority of, of modern EVs. The other option is rapid charging. Now on this Nissan Leaf, I've got two connectors. I've got the standard AC one here. In this case, this is a type one connector. Again, different, but that looks like that. Um, that's for, that's a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger on this car. So I can plug it into any AC charger outlet, as long as my plug fits, and it will charge up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Now some chargers will be three, some will be seven, some will be 22, etc. but it doesn't matter. As long as the plug fits, it will charge. This is a different story. This is a rapid charge port for DC charging straight to the battery. Now there's two varieties of these. This one is called a CHAdeMO, C-H-A-D-E-M-O. I guess how it's spelled. Um, it's more of an abbreviation than a word, but that is for, I think it's up to 600 volts or something crazy. It goes in there straight to the battery um, and it will go 50 kilowatts. So this car will charge in no time because it's got a tiny battery. Now other styles of connector are called, there's a CCS and I think Tesla uses its own rapid charge connector. But anyway, that's the two variations. So you've got your, your slow or fast charging and your rapid charging at DC. Now these are harder to find than these. I mean. Generally speaking, when you go to a public charger, they will nine times out of 10 have this connector on them, as in the, the other end of this that you plug it into, and you can take your own type two connector. In my case, this is a type two to a type one. Plug that in, plug that in the car like this. Car will beep. And if there was power, it'd start charging and there's indicators on the dashboard so you can see it. And then the other option, is this, this is a very slow charger. This is a three kilowatt charger. This is a, called a granny charger as the name they give it because you can use it at granny's house. But it draws 10 amps. Now, if you've got a particularly old house and not a very good ring main, this isn't really recommended, but it'll get you out of trouble if you need to charge and you haven't got a charger installed or you need to charge somewhere and you can reach a plug. I mean, you don't want to run that on an extension lead. It's just going to kill it. But that is a mains plug to this box that does the communication with the car. And then the other end on this one, it's the type two connector for the for this leaf. Um, then the other thing you need to think about is a tethered charger. Now, if you go to a public charging point and they've got a permanent cable, on most modern cars, you'll be okay because they're 99.9% .9 of the time if it's tethered, it, tethered, it'll be this kind of connector. Now for this car, because it's a Japanese car and some early e European EVs, they've got a type one connector and if it's tethered, you won't be able to use it. Um, and they don't let you daisy chain these, it just won't work. So you can buy adapters, but generally speaking, they won't be tethered. They'll just be plug in the wall chargers because A, they're easy, cheaper to produce and B, if someone damages the connector, they've not broken the charger. So yeah, that's a very basic overview of charging. If you've got any questions, stick it in the comments.